or I want to start streaming and I always have a moment of like, do I? Do I really want to start streaming? But welcome, welcome to the stream. We had decided that we will stream and got lots to do today. So what are we going to do today? Hey, Angie from Arizona. Good morning, morning, morning or afternoon as the case may be. Peg, you didn't win this time. You're second. Um, you just got to get a little faster on the draw. Peg, Angie, welcome to the stream today. We're going to kind of do two things. We are going to get to more wire bending for the enamel art jam, my little jar. But before that, I've got kind of like a thing I just need to get done. So we're going to do that together because um, as, as you may know, I make educational videos on Vimeo. Here is the, you know, not that you guys don't know what that is. And I am scheduled to be posting a tutorial video on the 1st of June. And I usually actually always have one in the bag. A Deep Cove Studio. Good morning from Vancouver. Oh, thank you. For, oh, I'm so glad. Annika, I'm, I never know. I sent, what was it? Like f three of the five winners were not in the United States, which was really funny because I'm going to say 90% of the people that signed up to be in the drawing were from the United States. And so I just kind of like th put those things in international post with kind of like a wing and a prayer, a wing and a prayer. And so I'm glad that you got it. Haven't heard about the other. <laughs> so honestly, if they get, you know, it is what it is. So, but anyway, I was blabbing. I am running because of my trip and all my vacation and my, you know, brain fog. I'm running a little bit late on my tutorial video. I know exactly what we're doing and I'm going to spend all day tomorrow making the video, but I don't normally wait until the 11th hour. I kind of do 10 hour and 45 minutes uh, before it's due, but I'm doing a video. It was a request from a viewer. We're going to do all about foils, the nitty gritty, all different kinds of foils. And for that video, I want to have a couple little round samples, not sample strips, sample somethings to do a few things you could do with foils. And I don't want to do them tomorrow. So we're going to do them right now. And if you want to watch that video, remember you need to subscribe to my Vimeo channel. And yeah, so we're going to do that. Let us just honestly get started. I've got the kiln heating up to 1430F. Fahrenheit 776C Celsius. Right now it's at, I don't know, 890, oh, 900. So it's going to take a couple more minutes. And let's go over to the workbench. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I did just finish this yesterday. I've got also, after I do this stream, I have to finish. I've got some, I'm making a beaded thing for this that I finished yesterday. This is all done. Came out really nice. I'm very proud of it. Bada bing, bada boom. That's going in the mail tomorrow. I'm going to get it out of the way just so I don't accidentally destroy it. That would be very sad. So, yes. So what we're going to start off with. Oh, thank you. And I saw it was, she's been super patient because she literally bought that piece. Because a lot of my pieces in the Etsy thing are made to order. And she purchased it the day I was leaving for Portugal. And I was like, I'm not going to start this for two and a half weeks. And she was very patient. So I really have spent the last week getting that done. I've got a couple videos on YouTube kind of showing the process. I videotaped the whole process yesterday of the color. I'm not sure if the quality is all that good because I did it entirely with the microscope camera because I wanted to listen to music at the same time and so I didn't do it with my phone and I'm not sure it came out that good and I haven't done anything with it so busy 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 anyway what do we got here I'm going to switch out my glasses these are my computer glasses and these are my actual see what I'm working on glasses so we're going to make circles we're basically making some circles that have a layer of flux on both sides. Easy peasy. And I just got this in the mail, which I'm very, here we'll do a little unboxing of like, you want to see what many hundreds of dollars worth of silver looks like. I'm going to 
crack this. I hope there's silver in here. Should have double checked, but so we're going to first open the silver. I ordered, I was almost, com I'm completely out of 20 gauge fine silver sheet and I was almost out of 20, wait, I was whatever, reverse that with 22 and 20. So this would be the 22 gauge fine silver sheet, which is what we're going to be using this morning. And then here's a delightful, gosh, so it's so immaculate. Although I was super jealous, one of my students in Portugal, and someday I'll stop talking about Portugal, but today is not that day. Um, she, when she buys her fine silver sheet, it is so shiny. It has this perfect shine on it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with this. It's very sweet, but there's definitely a burnished look to it. Hers comes like it's been a mirror finish. So I was a little bit jealous. All right, so we've got the 22 gauge. What is that in millimeters? Let's find out. It is point, this is my cheat sheet, 0.644 millimeters thick. Honestly, it doesn't matter if I had, I could probably even make these out of 20, you know, 24 gauge, but I, sorry, I mean, yeah, 24 gauge, but I'm not because I don't have it. So we're gonna keep things simple. Excuse me while I put this away. So what we're gonna do is make some circles. All right, I've moved everything that doesn't need to get dinged out of the way. And I was thinking whatever size this circle would be a good size for the video. So I'm probably going to make one, two, three, four. I'm gonna make six, because I kinda of wanna, well, I'm gonna do two kinds of samples, because one of the things I'm gonna be exploring on the video tomorrow is whether or not using a soft undercoat for a piece of fine silver foil versus a hard, if you lose definition in your texture. So that's what you're, what we're doing. Yeah, and if you're just joining us, we're just making, we're prepping for a video I'm gonna make. Just, you know, that's what you get with these things. If I've got things to do in the studio, just gonna have to deal. There we go, hold on, you know what? Let's lift up a lot. There we go. Probably should put this under there. I normally do this on the floor. Oh, just <laughs> everything's gonna be all jangling. There we go. Let's do it. Was that too much? There we go. And I'm gonna make, let's make six because I'm gonna wanna do a couple more. And I'm gonna dome them. I've got the kiln on. There we go. There's two. Oh, but you know what's coming up next. I know I'm kind of like doing this video about foils next, it, which is just kind of more mundane, but the next big project for Vimeo, we're going to be making perfectly spherical round beads. Yes, and we're gonna make some of them with the arc welder and some of them the old fashioned way with the acetylene torch. You may ask, have I ever made a bead? The answer is no, but I'm going to make beads before I do that video. But that will be the next setup. We're gonna make kind of a large one and maybe a pair of earrings. We're gonna make a bunch of beads and they're gonna be round. So that's the plan. So something to look forward to. Cause I was starting, I was gonna do a bird project, but I feel like maybe I've done two, you know, People are tired of the more complicated projects. Um, but let me know if you want to do a bird project in Vimeo. What kind of a bird? A robin, maybe? I've already done a, I did a kind of half-assed cardinal, but this would be like super realistic. There's two. 
Let's see if we can get this in here. You think I could count, but I cannot. Let me just trim this so I can get in there. Um, okay, I'll get, put these in the. Oh. I'm getting a lot. Is, is it not quite enough to send in for refining? But starting to get close. I like to get a nice amount before I send my scrap in for refining. There we go. So that's six. All right, so we're going to do two for seeing whether hard versus soft enamels has a bearing on whether or not you lose the texture in the silver foil. I know that's a lot. There's that. We're going to do one with some cute silver foil punches. There's that. We're going to do some more silver foil options here. You know what? Six. Perfect. There we go. And I am going to go quickly over to my thing and just trim this off so it's nice and I'll be right back because I'm not we're not going to go over to the snipper together. I don't think that it goes that far. So we're just going to trim this. There we go. We'll get to the wires. All right, so this will go back into the thing. This will go back into the scrap. And I do want a baggie for this. It's 22. I'll just put it in there for now, figure out the baggie situation after, which means probably never. And we can put the, you've done well, punchy. Say goodbye to this. And put that away. Wonder if I eh, yeah. there's that. So then we're going to dome these. And I'm gonna use my new tool, my new dapping block that I bought. Oh, I'm gonna bring the whole thing down because it's so oh it's heavy. Oh man, is it heavy? I just got this. This is my newest thing and I had I needed one for one of the projects before and I borrowed one from my friend Betty and realized I couldn't believe there was a set of tools that I didn't own so I needed to buy one this was actually not that expensive um I don't remember where I bought it but it was about a hundred dollars which in jewelry terms like it's pretty solid like Really, I think it's a nice dapping block. I think the one irritant is one of these holes. I think they gave me 14. They didn't drill this 13 millimeter hole big enough, and so my 13 millimeter um, punch doesn't fit in the hole. Um, I know it's a small thing, and I could get out a drill and drill that, but I have not done that. I just would rather you know, nothing, enjoy the imperfection of it. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's decide what we're gonna do, how domed we want, because we're doing, we might as well go. I should have done extra as a prep for making the beads, but I have a feeling there's this, you know, only so much you guys wanna watch me fool around with. So let's see if this is, what size? It's like a totally new, does that one fit? Maybe? Let's find out. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> I 
think the, I'm gonna let the lift up. Actually, you know what? Instead of lifting up, I could scooch over. There we go. That's better. That'll do. I'm gonna do all of these. Honestly, I feel like 24 gauge would probably have been better. It's a bit, these are actually a little thick. Sorry about the dinging. dinging. Just one more. Probably would have annealed, should have annealed these, but what you gonna do? All right, so that was lovely. Thank the new dapping set. Thank you, Dappy. We've got a little bit of dome on here, so we're gonna put you back. Let me get my upper body strength going. There we go. That was good. We don't need that. And we're just going to put do I need to sand the backs? You know what, I'm not going to. I'm gonna, I'm not going to. We're just going to be crazy today. We're gonna put Grisaille, my favorite, 1990 on the back. And I think I already got some clear fire ready. Look at me being prepared, so. I felt bad enough that I was going to make you watch this that I thought, well, I might as well get all the things I need so you don't have to watch me fiddle around as much as I normally do. So I guess I'll also put on safety first. So there we go. That's fine. Got that. Oh, probably would like a brush. There we go. And I need more of these. And we got some of this. I put a little too much of the Dawn in there, so it's a pretty blue. I think one will be enough. One kind of thick coat. Since these are just honestly for samples. Is that one? Three. Oh, I've got <laughs> do I have three funny stories. I've got two and a half funny stories, maybe just two funny stories, kind of weird things that happened to me recently. Uh, the first is this, well, when I flew home from Portugal, I did not check any bags because I'm not foolish enough to think that checking a bag is the smart thing to do, especially since you know, you get to 
Dallas is where I was going through. And you, if I had checked that bag, you got a mad scramble to get off the plane, go get your bag from the luggage you know, carousel, pull that bag through customs, recheck the bag. So you, you know, so I did not check any bags. But on my app, my American Airlines app, it was like, hey, you know, your, your bag is on the way. And I just kind of ignored it because I'm like, uh, I did not check any bag. So, and then when I got home last week, a week ago, on the app, it was like, it gave me this. And we also, I got an email saying that they were so sorry that they didn't know where my bag was. And I was like, well, that's, that's funny because I have my bag right here. I didn't do anything because it seemed like something that would figure itself out. And so anyway, this morning, just about an hour ago, I got a call from a woman at ILM airport, that's our Wilmington airport. And she's like, hey, um, I have your bag. <laughs> and I, well, she, I made her leave it. I don't answer my phone. So if you call... I don't answer my phone unless it's my mom or my husband. But um, so I, she'd left a message and I called her right back. And I was like, you have a bag for me? And she's like, yeah, I got it right here. And I'm like, what name is on this bag? And she's like, Sandra McMoon. And I was like, is that really the name on the bag? And she's like, are you really going to go make me look at that bag? And I'm like, yes, because I need to know whose bag it is. And she's like, she kind of like, you could hear her like rustling through things. And she's like, well, it's Sandra. And I was like, is it Sandra McEwen, M-C-E-W-E-N? And she's like, she was like deeply like aggravated at the whole situation. And I was like, I didn't check a bag. I don't know whose bag that is. Uh, and so somebody whose name is Sandra McGowan or somebody else, their bag is in Wilmington. Who knows? Who knows? I was tempted to go to, I mean, the airport's only five minutes away and have a look. But since I honestly, I know it's not my bag. It's not my business. I don't know what's in it. I don't want to, you know. So it's like, I felt bad. And I was like, how on earth could that happen? Like it was tied to me. So I have a feeling that whoever checked in right after me, that's whose bag it is. And so who knows where they were going? So that's... I guess that's not really a funny story, but it is a story. Um, the next story that I'm going to tell you is weird. It's like a weird story. So, well, let's put, let me, before I tell you the weird story, in, you know, I'm probably losing viewers like apples off a tree. Let me go ahead and put this under the heat lamp so we can dry these. And we'll clean up too. So we'll want that. Oh, I want one more of these. Because remember, we don't want to fire on the one that we've sifted. So we're going to set that one aside. And do I, can I fit? It's like a puzzle. Yeah, I bet I can fit six on here. There we go. Yeah, that's why I knew that six was a good number. Seven. I bet I could even fit seven. No. There we go. All right, I'm going to go put these under the, the lamp so they dry a little faster. Twelve. There's that. And we'll clean up. Because we're only go we're only gonna do one. Oh, we are gonna put that on the front of a couple of them. So we will tidy it up, but we don't need to get rid of it altogether. There we go. Perfect. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna do black on the front of let's just say three of them will have black and three of them will have number three sifted sawyer silver flux that's what's going to happen so while those are drawing i'll tell you the third story um 
<laughs> because why not? Um, I got the weirdest thing in the mail. Um, I'm going to go right to the selfie cam because this is, this is important enough. And well, you know, you, if you're bored, go ahead and deal with this. But, um, I got the weirdest thing in the mail when I got back from the trip. It was like, it's a box, no, um, return. Well, it was like from, um, there's no return address. It's a box that had a 520 piece puzzle and there was no paperwork in the box no note uh, it was a 520 piece puzzle and the image was of me on vacation on a vacation that we took 10 years ago in somewhere in the Caribbean on a zip line and it wasn't a good photo it's like me going you know on a zip line and I was that was Actually, that's the entire weird story. Um, a puzzle of me from a vacation from a long time ago. I don't know. It was weird. Anyway, it kind of reminded me of this really scary story that I read when I was very small. Not very small, like a teenager. I like to read scary stories. I read this story about these people that were like in a kitchen and they were putting a puzzle together. And they were like, oh, this." they didn't know what the puzzle was going to be. And so they started assembling it. And they were like, oh, this looks like our kitchen. I'm like, oh, and they kept putting the puzzle together. And then they're like, oh, wait, look, there's us. That's us putting a puzzle together in the kitchen. And then they're like, getting it all the way to the end. And they're like, get to that window. And they're like, the last puzzle piece is like, there's a face in the window. And they're like, what? And that was the, I assume they're all dead from the serial killer. Uh, but rest assured, I threw that puzzle away. I am not assembling that puzzle. So no puzzle of Sandra zipline adventure because it'd be like a, anyway, that's the whole story. You know what? I bet our things are ready to go in the kiln. Let us go to the kiln cam bum, bum, and put them in the kiln. So yeah, actually I don't have a third story because the third story was not as exciting. That I, I, I feel like the puzzle story was probably the better story. Should have led with that. So we're just gonna, they're not totally dry, but it honestly doesn't matter. So again, 1430, because we're gonna be using that hotter sun, the, the harder enamel for the front for a few of them. And that's 776 Celsius. And we're just gonna take these to, I guess an orange peel, whatever. All good. Let's see what else. Yeah, no, there is no. Oh, here, no, there is a, what's kind of a dumb. It, it does all tie into my vacation. I bought this beautiful, you can see a beautiful sketch pad because I was going to do all of the sketching for my vacation in Portugal. I was going to be like, oh, I'm an artist. I'm sketching. And the only sketch I did was quite literally at the airport <laughs> the, there's um charlotte there's a madrid um and then also this tree that was the entire vacation apparently and then yesterday i felt bad so i did a picture while i was waiting of my um mortar and pestle that i guess technically is the third story um best intentions but you know what i'm gonna try to draw in this once a day even if it's just stuff in my studio. So I didn't really care for this pen, but that is everything. So we're at whatever, 13, 12, and let's make sure. Probably have like 10, 15 more seconds, long enough for me to go have a sip of coffee. I've had a lot of coffee this morning. Alrighty, 1363. Actually, those look like they are going to come out. 1380, yeah, they're at orange peel. No sense in leaving them in longer than they need to be. 
and we'll give them a moment. Let's see. There they are. Oops. Zoom. They're very exciting. Uh, we'll probably see if we can pull them off and let them cool. There we go. So let them cool a little faster. And if this was something super important, I would probably do two coats. You know, I always... There we go. We'll get some fresh. One. I have so many trivets. Two. Three. Four, five, six. All right, we got six fresh trivets that are cool, and we'll get some enamel on the top. So let's go to the workbench. See if they're cool. Oh, cool enough. All right. One, two, three. All right, so we've got one coat on the back. Again, if this was something that really was important to me, I would do two coats. Just, just so you know. God, part of me is like, should I do two coats? Yes. Fine. But I'm not going to do any clarifier. I'm just going to... Then we don't have to let them dry. I just can't half-ass things. Well, I mean, I can, but I always end up regretting it. Oops. The last one, just a thin coat. Now let me go get, I bet that's still hot. Let me get a fresh thing. We're gonna go right into the kiln because I didn't use any clarifier, so I don't need to let anything dry. So let's just pull back a little bit on this. There we go. Let's just All right, let's go put these in the kiln. So we're going to go to the kiln cam. I'm coming over. There we go. We're just going to let that rock out for a minute and a half or so. And
that is all. Hmm. Good afternoon, Margaret. Oh, do I have, I don't have a selfie cam on this one. Hey, Margaret. <laughs> I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee. Yeah, I'm keeping my eye on the kiln in like 30 seconds. I will go over there uh, and see what's happening. How's everybody doing today? Is it, it's Tuesday. Did you have a suitably solemn Memorial Day? Is that probably it rained here all weekend so we um had a suitably solemn memorial day all right i'm gonna go check out what's happening in the kiln so let's go see there we go and not quite we'll get you out of the way are you guys cool Cool enough. I'm gonna put you guys over on the table, ready for the next thing. And yeah, you guys are ready. There we go. I feel better about two coats. I mean, you never know. I mean, these samples, maybe I'm gonna to wanna to see them a year from now and I don't want them to be all cracky. So I'm just going to, do we care? I guess I could just actually pull them off like this. Pull them off. All right. That one always whines. All right. You guys hang out and get cool. And that is probably it's too hot to touch just yet. Just let them get a little cool. That one's not a perfect dome. Yeah, to make the beads, I'm gonna have to really work on getting like a really tight dome. are you doing? I can never tell. Hot? Not hot. There we go. forget oh, Scotland I bet it's beautiful there although lovely weather in Scotland I wonder what that actually means <laughs> this mean it's sunny out um, there we go so we're gonna do black on four of them and number three on this one or i could do blue no we're just gonna do black this is an exploratory video so it doesn't matter that much so i'm gonna put a little bit more here let's see if these they're still a little warm but they'll do So, all right, should make extra because I am at some point going to be doing a grisaille video and I need to practice. That's a good 
good one. It's just never going to be enough time to do all the things. bet my name wasn't even anywhere. I bet my name was not on that piece of luggage at all. I bet it was just some random person's name. But I get it. She probably just wanted it off her to-do list. So we've got four of those, and I'm gonna do, are we doing two coats? No, we're just doing one coat, for real. I mean, honestly, this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. Warm and sunny. Very nice. There we go. So we're going to do two with this. And it doesn't matter, we're going to be putting. Actually, let me get a clean one of these and a clean sifter. This is my favorite flux of du jour, Sawyer number no. three silver flux. Look, it even looks, it's very blue, but it doesn't turn out blue. It looks just crystal clear. Um, and it's very hard, which I appreciate as well, which I've come to appreciate. And honestly, when I use this on a top piece for cloisonne, I would actually probably have done well to put it as my counter enamel as well. Um, but I did not do that. And I'm gonna say for this instance, it doesn't really matter. So I've got that right there. I'm putting a pretty thick coat on. There we go. All right. Let me just see some black flux that I want to address so they don't go back in the mix. Take that. That's looking pretty good. Oh, hold on, I see another black flux. And I do want to let these dry really well, just so we don't have little pock marks on them. So I'm going to, I'm going to put these two towards the back of the kiln because these need more heat. This is a much softer, lower melting. There we go. Oops, let's just knock it all everywhere. There we go. So we're gonna go and put this 
under the heat lamp. And then we're going to get started with some wires. It's just a, a little bit of everything all at once. Well, one at a time kind of a day. Uh, I thought about making you watch me string the Caldane bead. Caldane, I can never pronounce that beads, but I actually am going to do that on my own after because that dragonfly necklace has a beautiful strand of, how do you say it? It's spelled C-H-A-L-D-O-N-E-Y. And one time at a craft show, I, you know, because I didn't know when you learn, when you see it written, I was like, it's Chaldoni or whatever. And some lady was like, it's pronounced Caldone. And I was like, so I never used those beads for like 10 years after that because I was too embarrassed. But now I've worked it back in. I still don't know how to pronounce them. They're beautiful, milky white, bluish beads. Gorgeous. And I feel like they need a new name. So maybe I'll name them something different. So we're putting these away. And we're going to get, while those are drying under there, let's, let's get what we're working on. And you'll be happy, I guess, to know that I've done a little bit of work, not much. Hold on, let me just bring everything over. Let me sort out. It's, it's kind of like my tray of requirement right now. What's in there? All right, so this is what I've done so far with the wires and we're going to continue on with our friend over here so we're going to need that right like that remember it's all going to be on the exterior of this that design and then we always oh, still have to do them on the top i completely forgot that there's also a lid and if you remember this is all going to be in shades of black and gray uh, with this really beautiful, look at the stone, is going to be smack dab on the top like that. And then on the inside is going to be this vivid color on the inside. So that's, that is the plan for that. And I have made, because I have slightly taller sides, good, I'm glad we're stuck to things. The tray of requirement is acting up. All right, so we have, I've made a bunch of wire. This is also that wire that we need. All right, we're, we're gonna get it. This is for later. Don't let me forget that I have to do the wires for the lid. So, oh, hey, Drew, welcome, welcome. It's been a while, I know I've been you know, not streaming because I've been traveling. All right, so we don't need anything else on this tray. Oh, this was a pretty color. Remember, look at this color, by the way. Um, I made this in a class just because I wanted to test out that really vivid yellow. It's just, it is on fire, this. I should do maybe the inside. What if this was the inside here like that and you opened it up? That'd be too much, too much. Um, we're gonna stick with this color, but Anyway, that's just on the tray because I have to put it, figure out what I'm going to do with it. So, but man, is that two colors. Well, there's many colors in here, but two specific colors. There's purples that are challenging to work with that are just amazing. And then that yellow that you'll never find. So it doesn't even matter. I'm not even going to tell you what it is because you ain't finding it. And yes. I know, Bonnie, thank you. All right, we're putting that away. And I'm feeling like I'm just starting to get caught up from being gone for two and a half weeks. And I mean, it was important to take a vacation for sure, but feel like I'm behind like there's I have like a renewed lease on excitement and what I want to do and a sense that life is so short how am I going to do all these things and why am I spending time fretting so we don't need I'm going to put this away we don't need this brush um honestly 
don't need that. I'm going to put this stuff, you know, you can live right there. There we go. So let's get the things that we do need, which is uh, round nose pliers, large, round nose pliers, small. And for this project, because we have our new friend, well, round nose pliers, extra. Look how fine these pliers are. They're amazing. So we've got three of those. I'm actually using, they're hard to use. They're so fine. But for making these tiny little pieces here, makes a world of difference. Chain nose, flush cutters, my favorite flush cutters for special occasions over there. Put that right there. And what else? Oh yes, round things. We don't need these. Put that right there. I like to, I do have like a really specific way of organizing my, I like to kind of set these up right there. These are the ones on the right that I've been using for this project. And these have been the ones I've not really been using. So I set them right like that. That way they can't roll off the table. And I am going to, what is next? All right. Can you please give me the source of the fine yellow? Yes, I can. I, you know where I found, oh, I got two pairs. Let me show you the other, oh wait, where is the other pair? Um, the other pair is, uh, and they're so comfortable. I really wish that this handle was on every single one of these things because when you're doing something for so many hours, I'm gonna show you, it's Lindstrom. The number is, let's see, EX7590B. You're just gonna look that up because they don't sell, I don't think they sell these at Rio Grande. So you'll just have to look them up on the web and they're really nice. Um, they're, you're not gonna, I don't use them very often because they are so, what is that? Looks like half a millimeter tip, so fine. And kind of challenging to get the hang of. So, but I also got a pair of, oh yeah, I got a pair of, um, yeah, it doesn't matter because I don't use them that much. So <laughs> whatever. Alrighty. So we've got that. And quite honestly, before I get into this, let's go ahead and pop over to the kiln, get that stuff taken care of so I can, so we can turn clicky off, give clicky a break. So we're going to go to the kiln camp for one final if you're just joining us, Drew, I'm not sure when you joined us, I'm just making these as a prerequisite for what I'm going to be filming for the tutorial that I'm going to be posting in two days. We're going to be talking all about different kinds of fine silver and gold foils and these little rondelles are going to just help us in that quest of discovery. So 1210, we'll give it a minute. And Yeah, I'm out of stories. I think I, I, I sh overshared too early, so. Excellent, yes. Well, I look forward to making it. But again, I normally, I mean, when I went to Portugal, I had one in the bag ready to go, video-wise, but I, If anyone has any requests for tutorial videos, do let me know, because I'm trying to get my schedule for the next couple of months going. All right, where are we? Well, and we've got that one in the back that is 
harder so it's going to take probably the full it's going to take i'm going to take it all the way to 1430 just to make sure that it has a good opportunity to melt so Yeah, sitting here and staring at it. I probably should have let them dry a little bit more. Oh, maybe I want a second coat. Probably gonna put a second coat on. We're gonna definitely put a second coat on there of the black. It's a bit splotchy because I want a good, for what we're doing with the foils, definitely want, see how it's a little splotchy. Let's see if we can see it, but I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna turn the kiln off. I'll get that second coat on after. I'm ready for wires if you know what I mean. So that's what we're gonna do next. Hold on, let's go to the workbench. Drew asks, will we see you finishing the dry? You mean, hold on. <laughs> Drew, you come late, you miss all the goodies. Do you mean this, this dragon fry fly piece? Look, let's see if we can put it under the thing. That I finished yesterday afternoon. And I have to do the speed stringing for it, uh, which I'm going to do on my own. So I did, vi I did record video of me making that dragonfly piece. And I have to decide how much effort I want to put. I was thinking I was going to do like a start to finish thing video, like a really fast one. I've, I don't know, but I'm losing steam and the thought of opening Premiere one extra time. I wish I had like a videographer that would do all that for me. So anyway, that is that, and this is this. So again, we are going to continue with these wires. I'm gonna pull over Mr. Microscope. Hello, Mr. Microscope is coming. Let's just do a little arranging. Here we go. Let's see. How's that? Let me make sure I can see what's going on. Right like that. Is our light on? Yes. It's funny how it's like there's like 15 lights pointing at it, but it seems too dark. Let me adjust my focus because I was fooling around with the focus earlier. There's that. And let's see what. I'm going to turn off the Vimeo thing. Please subscribe to Vimeo. It is quite literally my bread and butter. So without Vimeo, I wouldn't be doing any of this. So there we go. Let's go to the microscope camera. There we are. Let's see what we see. There we have it. So we've got all of these wires done having a lot of fun with the wires and I really wish I could, and I'm going to be spending I'd like to say I'm going to have these wires all done by Friday but probably not so we'll probably be doing these wires on Friday too because I forgot about the lid <laughs> I completely forgot about the lid so it's not just this so let me make sure I just want to see what's focused. All right, so this is in the center of what I'm looking at. That kind of works. I don't want to mess with this too much. So, alrighty. 
what, where am I? I'm in the middle of our friend, the worm. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Oh, crap. Look, it's, I've lost the, the camera. I don't know what's happening lately. You update your operating system on the phone and then all of a sudden it's the camera's frozen. So USB connected. Zoom. Well, that might be it. That might be it because, well, I guess I could just go right to, you know what, the phone. Mm. It's frozen. So let's, let's actually go to the microscope camera only. Oh, that's beautiful. iPhone camera off. There we are. How about that? It's not ideal. Let's see, do we have, is there a circle selfie? Oh, there is a circle selfie. All right, it's not super exciting, but because the iPhone cameras decided to, I think it's when I'm doing the zooming, it throws itself off. So, you know what? We're just going to work on this so oh and i forgot i need my pair of tweezers here we are tweezers so we've got we're going to be oop, continuing along over here and i've just been going a little bit off but sometimes you just get a you, i want to fill in so i've like especially right around this area i kind of added a few elements that i just thought would be really nice so that is what that is so we've got all the way to there there we go i apologize about the phone i, have to, I hate the thought of having to look things up on google especially since there's probably no good answer so i'm just going to I'm going to shorten this a little bit. Yeah, because the only way I got it to work the last time was honestly rebooting the whole computer. So we'll just do that. If this. Alrighty, so. I think I've got this one. I kind of want. Actually, I'm going to use this little guy. Because I want a slightly round edge like that. That's fine. I'm going to make a bunch of these. Gonna set you right there. We'll arrange them on the tape after I've made a bunch of them. It seems to be the better way of doing it. Takes a while to kind of get warmed up. I'm going to 
I know I'm fooling around. I'm like, what if refresh device? I don't know. Uh, alrighty, well, alrighty. I'm over it. Who has time? Where was I? This little guy. Oh, wrong side. That one. Right there, let's see if we can squeeze one more out of that. I don't remember where I was. This one, we'll see. All right, let's just see where we are. Here we are. It doesn't have to match perfectly. I say that. Um, we're not going to be matching perfectly. don't like anyway. Alrighty, so we need two more. to be more round. There we go. Okay. 
right there for now and then uh, we're gonna have this <laughs> you know what I'm gonna make this piece and then decide what's happening here because that might be part of this mm, we'll see you know what yeah we'll just make it it's like a little story around you a little bit. Where were we? I am I forgot that I was, I'd gone off the, the rails a little bit. That should be good. Now, we're gonna make this piece before continuing on. We've got, it's close enough. <laughs> no one will know except you and me, it's just secret. So, bloop, bloop, boop, boop. We don't need you. Pinch you in just a little bit. You know, I want this one to be a little bit. Let's see if we can fuss you a little bit longer. Oh, maybe not. See, when you f go back and fuss with them, sometimes you make them worse. Okay. 
this and then we need bit a little bit more flary but that'll do let's see how it looks actually I like that want it to be a little bit more bend it just a little bit like that that's good it floops a little bit more but that's okay I like how I like the shape Again, I can always bend a wire better than I can draw a wire. So that'll be good. We're going to finish his little body. And what do we have? Yeah, I'll figure out what's wrong with the phone. Maybe I just need to, maybe there's an update for OBS camera. The, the problem is just, you know, every, every place I go is going to say the Apple phone will, will tell me that it's OBS Studio's fault. OBS Studio will probably say it's Apple's fault or the app I'm using, and, you know, OBS camera. There's <laughs> just nobody, and honestly, who even knows why? the camera freezes when you zoom out so I'm going to trim that a little bit maybe Okay, so a little bit. All I want to do is bend wires. And I kind of was enjoying using this for this. Give it a slightly round edge. Also far too long. There's that.
that one. Boop. Whatever, it doesn't matter. My phone is, the app is completely crashed. It heard me bad mouthing it. And so this is still working, yes. <laughs> Who knows, are we still streaming? We are still streaming. Sometimes I don't know. Let me know, someone say something nice. Say something nice. All right. Where were we? Hmm. Well, maybe not. It's probably for the best. Though I wonder if I go back in OBS waiting for connection. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Thank you. I... We're almost done with these. There's that one. Let's see where we are. All right. Oh, I think I missed the middle one, this one right here. Something <laughs> cute. All righty, let's just get this little guy. Oops. Okay, we're gonna do two more of these and then we can get to the fun stuff, which are all the tendrils. I guess it, if you think that's fun, I think the tendrils are the best part. And the little mushrooms. Train that out a little bit. Good enough. And then one more of these little guys. Actually, this one. So you go down here, Bonnie. There we go. That'll just do. So we've got his little body. He's got some little legs. Let's do the legs because the tendrils will kind of snake around there. And the legs are pretty straightforward. They're just little nibbles, little nibbles. Let me... Pro-yuck, is that what that is? 
Raz Stardust is now following. Thank you, Raz. I did. I don't know if you remember. I was not streaming at the time that I made that huge necklace. All of, um, well, it was Chiquita and then, oh, what kind of insects were they? Those, um, I can't remember. Never mind. Words, hard. Simple insects. Let's just, I'm just going to make a pile of these and then we'll arrange them. All right, so we're just going to set you over there. In fact, I might just make a pile of all the same size and then arrange them. Let's see. we go. Actually, I'm not hating just having the, because you can definitely see what's going on. You just don't get the wide angle shot. The quality's not super great, but. Oops. How many are we making? More than three. Let me put this just round it a little bit. Got that. That's four. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably would put one ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We need like fifteen of these nonsense things, so. And probably, because this is going to have to connect over here, I don't want to have like, I know where it's, I'm jumping the gun a little bit, but while I'm making these, I'm thinking ahead because I've got, you know, the connector. Where's my other, this, let me trim you. I don't want to have like a line where there's nothing crossing it. So like the design is going to be, kind of like that. And so I'm definitely going to try to have like, you know, maybe these tendrils coming over here a little bit, just so it doesn't look like there's a line here. So when those, when that happens, that's just what I'm, now I stopped making the things. So everyone's distracting. Alrighty. There we go. Let's, now we only have nine more of these. Oh yeah, I was I wasn't even trim, done trimming this little guy, and I was blabbing. Let's honestly trim you. Trim them together. 
Yes. Yes, you can. One, two, three, four, five, six. Angie from Arizona says, my very expensive Swanstrom flush cutters do not cut wires on the piece. Oh yeah, um, the quality control for the flush cutters, especially the Swanstrom, is low, very low. Uh, always be prepared to have a really good look when you get them and send them right back and tell them exactly why because it's nonsense that you spend $80 on a pair of flush cutters that don't have a perfect meat in the middle. Um, they should ad definitely address that. I've honestly never, it's when you get a good pair, you're like, oh, it's like getting, it's like a magic sauce. But then for every one perfect pair of cut, flush cutters that you get, you get kind of a low quality one. And I always thought, I wonder if you could just buy them directly from the manufacturer and then, but I don't know. One, two, three, stop counting them. I don't need to count them. When I have enough, I have enough. Oh, Angie says no sound. Well, my microphone is on and it's kind of doing the zoopities. So maybe it's just, <laughs> oh good. Two people say they have sound. Don't stress me out like that. I've already lost a camera today. There we go. Let's make two more and then or start arranging them because chances are we need some that might want a little bit of longer or shortitude. That's one. Put you over there, one more, and then we'll arrange. And honestly, Angie, I'm not really saying anything interesting in any way. I'm not sure that what I'm talking, saying is edifying in any way. There we go. Oh, the sound on the tab. Good. Good. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. All right, let's put some of these. I've made a little pile of legs. Let's see how they fit. That one fits perfectly. That one also is good. Put this right there. Flip you over. Ugh. We're going to trim you later. That's good. That's fine. Let's put you right here.
Alrighty, so that is good. We need two short ones, two long ones. We're almost there with these guys. Let's get a piece. Let's get a fresh piece of this. Where are we with time? We got about 25 more minutes. Yeah, I'm streaming in two hour increments. I feel like I can't believe that anyone wants more than that. Um, I will continue working on this, but I will get to listen to my tunes. And I will definitely be continuing this on Friday. The goal was honestly to be done with these wires because I've got other things to do. I've got to do my video tomorrow, which is Wednesday. So all day Thursday, I'm going to work on these meat. And so finishing on Friday sounds reasonable because the next step for this project is I have to depletion gild the silver because it's sterling silver. So I'm going to, I'm going to do the method that Amy Roper Lyons suggested, which is to depletion gild it in the kiln, which makes so much sense. It would be heating up super evenly. So I'm just going to put it in the kiln, let it turn black, quench it, pickle it, put it in the kiln, let it turn black, quench it, pickle it, and keep doing that until it stops turning black when you put it in the kiln and then all the fine silver. Uh, will I do that live? I don't know. Maybe I'll do that not live because I can't imagine that's a very exciting thing to see. So we're going to depletion guild that. And I also am kind of thinking about what I want, you know, because I want to do that really vivid citron green on the inside and I don't, it's such a strange shape. I want, I'm thinking of if I want to do foils on the inside, it's just going to be a flat color because I've been fooling around trying to get it cleaned up. It seems so much work. Do I need that? One, two, three, and then two short ones. Anyway, there's a lot of, a lot of things happening. But we're going to do that, get the inside enameled, get some enamel on the outside. We're going to be using the lily root powder to glue these pieces onto the piece, 3D style. That will be new. There's like a whole lot of new things I've never tried before for this piece. So it's going to be hold on to your seats action. This is short, and yeah, I don't mind, whatever, just to make it fit. Like that. Give it to me, little guy. There we go. You know what? Maybe we'll, there we go. There we go. I kind of want one more leg. Mm, no. All right, that's enough legs for now. <laughs> that is enough of the legs for now. Let's get this little floofer, this little flower done right here. And then we've got kind of like a spray of what I'm gonna call Queen Anne's Lace up there from the other side, other side of Queen Anne's Lace. So let's see. Drew says, could you do a short one where you do, you know, I'll probably, the, I'll probably test it on this piece and I'll probably record it, but maybe I'm not gonna do it live because what if it explodes in the, it's not going, it is literally not gonna explode in the kiln. Um, if it does, that would probably be, maybe that would be the video that makes me millions of dollars. Um, so I should probably have it explode in the kiln. Alrighty, so let's get this little flower going. 
Maybe it'll be invitation only if you want to come and see the depletion gelding. But it makes sense. I mean, you would certainly be able to heat it up more evenly than you could with a torch. So, and I mean, I guess it could explode. If there was like an air pocket in, in there, it might have a little explosion in there. That would be interesting. I'll probably keep my head out of it. What am I doing here? I'm gonna open you up. Oh, I should have done that as a separate, as a two piece or one of those. Nope, there's not enough. Doesn't matter. There's not enough wire to do that. It's a compound piece. It's fine. There we go. I bet I could do this as a compound piece. No, I, I'm not going to do that. Let's round you over there. What are you doing over here? You want to get rounded too? On all these tendrils, the drawing is really just a guide. I um, I get to do whatever I want. The wi the person bending the wires gets to change the design. That's the rule. Oh, did I just knock a bunch of things over? Yep. That's fine.
hate that shape. Yeah, that'll be okay. Actually, let me pull you up. Because I've changed it a little bit. Trim it right there. We just need a few little doodads on the end. And that's where these really shine, for these tiny, tiny doodads right here. These are very handy because they make the smallest little circles. And then I'm going to make one that's just a little bigger. So I'm going to use the medium pair because variety is nice. Ugh. Untwist you. It'll be fine. I kind of torqued it a little bit. It's fine though. All right. Let's bring you guys back. See where you live. There's one. Where did we put you guys? probably could sh trim you just a little bit. I'm not sure how accurate this edge is. I'm going to say probably there's a bit of a up to like a millimeter of variance of accuracy. So it might be that I actually have a little bit more room or even a little bit less. Just something that I'll discover when I'm gluing the wires down later. I think I, I think I unwrapped it. Did I unwrap it in Rhino? So it might be pretty accurate or did I just wrap a piece of paper around? I don't actually remember. All right, we're gonna get this little area done next. I'm gonna grab my piece of paper, hold on, and see how things are looking without the, the as you can, it's hard to see what's going on sometimes. So I'm gonna slide a piece of white paper under the design so we can just look at the wires so you could see you know we'll pinch these together 
later. It's looking good. Yeah, so we're going to fill in all this stuff up here. A little sweet face. But yeah, that is why we do it on the tracing paper. So yes, we got... And with these, I'm probably just going to make some dots. Let's see. We've got all different sizes. So we'll start with the large. I'm just going to kind of set you up there for now. And we got one more large. Like it matters. But. How about some medium? I think that's a good idea. I've got an idea how I'm going to do the foils for the outside, though, which I'm excited about. So that's, let's just get these in place. Actually, I want, oh, no. Did I not? Let's see. Oh, is that a curly cue? No. Sometimes I'm like, what did I even draw here? All right, let's get a, let me just make a couple more of these. What is going on? I'm going to make two medium and then a couple tiny, tiny ones. And honestly, we'll just, this one's not quite round. You know what? I'll just drop right on the floor. That one doesn't want to be part of this project. There you go. So, like I say, <laughs> two of these. That's a, that's a good one.
there's two. Now we're going to use our little tiny ones and make three. And that probably will be the day for you guys anyway. But I will be back on Friday. Oh, I love this little guy. There's. One. I don't need you. these up. If memory serves from the first one, these are hard to fill in with because I want, you know, they're going to be a black background and these are going to be little white, well, very light gray dots and the black just loves to creep under there and ruin the effect. So I'm going to be better about making sure they're really topped off before I go crazy with the black enamel. It's a lot to think about. All right, now give you a longer one. Let's see if we can find a little spot for all of you guys to live. Let's bring you over. Oops, they all tipped over. Well, that's fine. We'll bring you over one at a time. There you go. You know, I had a dream last night, totally, completely out of left field. We have a little, well, he's no longer with us, Mr. Wendell, our little sweet white dog. He's kind of like a, I don't know, like a Lhasa poodle mix, something like that. Anyway, he's been gone for a couple of years now, and I had this dream that we were, I was carrying Mr. Wendell, and we were being chased by dinosaurs, and they could smell Mr. Wendell, and I was like running through my husband's childhood home, <laughs> definitely. Um, and, you know, I was hiding in the bedroom and I'm like, close the door. And of course, the stupid velociraptor's like, no, how to open the door. And ugh, I'm like, that's the whole dream, honestly. Hiding in the bed, in your childhood bedroom against the velociraptors. All right. I'm going to see about, oh, that's cute. Maybe two like that. Thankfully, at that point, when they were like opening the door, I realized that I didn't want to have this dream anymore. And I'm like, mm, let's not have this dream anymore. And I woke up, so that was, Good. No one got eaten. I'll just put you right there. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Alrighty. Well, it's two o'clock. We've had two fun hours of bending wires. Let's have a quick look without Let's stick our piece of. There we. Go. Go so we can see just our wires. So we've got that, and then we're going to continue with this. Will be next our friends. I love our little spider guy. So this will all be done. I promise on Friday. We're going to make. I'm going to make really good progress because we still have to do all the mushrooms on the lid, which I don't have in front of me. So. We'll get all these wires done. So next week, well, I'm teaching a class next week, but after my teaching my class next week, we'll get this all moved forward. So again, that is gonna call, I'm calling it for tonight, today. Thank you so much for being patient with all these things that I'm doing and take care everybody. Have a great week.